Jay, everything you told me yesterday, you were right as rain. Thank God for that 10 hour stakeout. Uh, who are you? Exactly. I feel like a whole new man today. Like this great weight has been lifted. I mean, I've had these anger issues my entire life, but now I can see I was just mad at myself and my stepmom. Sir, I'm gonna need you to stop talking. It's like I close this emotional window. But yesterday I threw a brick right through that window and I just wanna thank you for handing me that brick, Jay. Okay, whoever you are, I need you to give me five feet or I'm gonna pluck you in your throat. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm gonna go to the little men's in black room, then we'll go find those morons from Poxathera. Lunch is on me. Who was that? Double A? Your partner. Uh, I'm gonna need you to go get me some chocolate milk, all right? Just a really big glass. And have you seen Kay? Did he call in sick or anything? Who's Kay? All right, all right, go ahead, go ahead. Kay! All right. You got me. I'll give it to you. It's funny, very elaborate. Oh, and all of you, fantastic performances. Can't believe you waited 14 years to develop a sense of humor, but this is a good one. But Kay, I need you to come out here now because I'm really starting to get a little bit pissed off. Agent J, would you mind keeping your voice down and telling me who it is you're looking for? I'm looking for Kay. Who is Kay? You too, you too. I mean, who is he to you? My partner, older gentleman, 110, maybe 111 years old, sort of a surly Elvis thing happening with him. He smiles like this. Seen him around? I'll take you to Kay. Thank you. What is that supposed to be? That's Kay, who's been dead for over 40 years. No. Okay, see, the prerequisite for a joke is that it be funny. It's never been funny. Computer Agent K and Boris the Animal. Men in Black Incident Report, July 1969. Location, Cape Canaveral. Perpetrator Boris the Animal escaped and fled Earth, assumed to have returned to home planet Bogladosha 20 light years away. Agent K pronounced dead at scene and awarded posthumous commendation for meritorious action, which prevented greater loss of human life. That's not what happened. I just looked at this report. K put Boris Agent away. Agent K is dead. Well, I just talked to him last night. You are imagining things. I'm not imagining anything. I need a psych team up here right now. Yes, ma'am. Aqua Velva aftershave. I didn't imagine that. For every stakeout, endless hours of cowboy music. Every morning with his coffee. And he'd say, i tell you something slick, this coffee tastes like dirt. And I was supposed to say, what do you expect? It was it's just, just ground, ground this morning. morning. How do you know that? Chocolate milk, sir. Where you been, Mary? It was like an hour ago. Wait, mm. how long have you been craving chocolatized dairy products? Just today. Are you experiencing headaches, dizziness, loss of balance? Mm hmm Agitation, depression? Hell yeah. There are only two possibilities. One is you've been bitten by the Horvathian brain tick and could die in horrible agony at any moment. Ah! Damn it. It's not the tick. Damn it, it's not the tick? It's something worse than the tick. Mm hmm Well, you know this place. You no, know it's reputation. I don't like it. I hate going in blind. I'm gonna need my gun. Sure thing, Slick. Okay. Wait, no, I gotta go in with you. you just sit tight. I'll be fine. Wait, no, no. Kay, Kay, don't go in by yourself. All right, fellas. Need to see the boss. He's busy. Hmm. All right, well, I'm gonna just take a look around. Looks like we have ourselves a standoff. Looks that way. Still keep the key under the ashtray. Lucky guess. Now, where were we? I was just about to tell you to screw off. Hey, Slick, you bowling in the future? Absolutely, I might be league champ three years running. Well, let's see it. You did not just walk into my establishment and rip my head off. My man, look, we don't have a lot of time for this. You really need to tell him something. I'll tell him this. All right, your head. Wait. 
and I will make sure that you walk funny for the first time you're a miserable ass baby on earth. Oh. Tough spare, God. Slick. You messed with the wrong head. His head is a little. You gonna tell us where Dom is? We're headed. Kill you both. I swear I'll kill both of these. Ooh. Ow! Take your hooks a little off. You want me to clean her? Oh, yeah, sure thing. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, come on, I'll just clean the bathroom with this thing! Please, no cleaning, no cleaning! Stop cleaning, I'm coming! I'm coming, I'm coming! All right, he's in the back, but he's not gonna talk to any men in black scum like you. Now, give me back my head. Okay, I call this one low-hanging oh. fruit. That ain't a finger hole, you sick bastard! Ow! I'm gonna cut your head off and see how you like it! Ow! Ooh! Mm. Well, we're on the right track. Just the wrong train. If you had any secrets, I'm guessing he spilled them. Smart man would figure out what your victims have in common. Smart man would. That's a big ass phone. Don't put that up to your head. Hey, you know? How's your day been, Agent K? Oh, fair to Midland. How are things going with you? Very good, thank you. Hey, you saw her like an hour ago. I need cleanup and containment at Cosmic Lanes. Now listen, I got a dead Parlaxian. Now, Roman was a bivoid, correct me if I'm wrong, but from the same planetary group? And... Yes, a three-planet system in the Triangulan Galaxy, wiped out by the Bogdadites. And that third planet, wasn't it Glamoria? Glamoria. Thank you, Miss O. I know where Boris is headed to next. You're close, Slick. It's not a factory, it's the factory. Please give your attention to my associate, Agent J. He's going to demonstrate an electro-biomechanical neural transmitting zero synapse repositioner. We call it the Neuralizer. Keep it simple, Slick. Mm, thanks a lot. Thank you, Agent K. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you will, look right here. OK, you know how you're on an airplane and the flight attendant asks you to turn your cell phone off? And you're like, I ain't turning my cell phone off. That don't have nothing to do with no damn airplane. Well, this is what we get. That's what happens. It gets up there, bounces around on the satellites, and blam! Just turn your damn cell phone off. Now you're gonna drive off a cliff tonight because your GPS don't work. Check the composition of the fuel units and run a scan on the surface deposits. I want to know who was driving that thing. Yes, sir. So what are you gonna say tonight? Uh, don't worry. No, I'm very worried. This is important. I'm hungry. Are you hungry? Okay. Seriously, I'm not even sure that's meat. I think I just saw a tooth in that thing, or claw. Oh, thanks, Manny. That does not belong in a pita. It belongs in a casket. You don't have to go good with this to be silence. But right, see, here's the problem. You can't smell it because your nose already smells like that. But my nose doesn't. Silence goes good with a lot of things. You ever try it or is talking the way you breathe? <laughs> if you hate me, you should just say you hate me. Don't take it out on the car. You let me enjoy this. Whoa, enjoyment. <laughs> so that's what enjoyment looks like on that face. I like that emotion. I keep emotion out of it. Out of what, Kay? Life? Sure you don't want to run it by me? Let me know what you're going to say tonight. Don't worry. Oh, no, I'm worried. Very worried. It's the man's eulogy. You're going to have to show some feeling. You know that thing that human people do when they change the expression on their face? I worked with Zed for 40 years. He was a hell of an agent, and I have written a hell of a speech for him. People will be moved. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And now a few words from Agent K. I worked with Zed for over 40 years, and in all that time, he never invited me to dinner. He never asked me to his house to watch a game. He never shared a single detail of his personal life. Thank you. And now we will hear from our new chief, Agent O. Thank you, Agent K. That was very moving. That was your eulogy? He was a good man. Ladies, gentlemen, other life forms. When I told the Phoenician Zyglot about Zed's passing, she said something that I'm going to repeat, and I'm paraphrasing. 